Welcome to Previews and Reviews with your host Eric McKinney and Hayden Smalling. Today we'll be going over basically the trailer for The Phantom Menace. We already reviewed the movie, we already told you guys our thoughts on that, gave you our ratings, and now is our time to tell you how we thought the, uh, the trailer represented. We categorize movies. Um, We've got three separate ranking tiers. We won't go over that in this video. We went over it pretty extensively in our last video mm -hmm. where we reviewed episode one. So if you guys want to check that out and give us a big thumbs up, hit the notification bell and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. Having seen the movie mm -hmm. several times already, of course, what are your thoughts on the trailers? The movie was a lot lighter toned than the trailer portrayed it to be. The trailer made it seem like it was going to be very dark, the story of Darth Vader, you have this mysterious Sith guy, you have these Jedi that look like they're struggling for their lives, you even have like yeah. this, these gun games, the, the, uh, the aliens that came out of the water, the, from the water city, they look all mysterious Jar -jar. like they're going to be evil, and in the trailer they're just nothing but cl clowns, but it's a good trailer, I mean. So, I actually watched a couple trailers, and they were theatrical. Okay. And of course, they didn't have the enhanced... Uh, you know, revised mm -hmm. footage. So you had the terrible Yoda puppet mm -hmm. <laughs> in the trailers that I watched. People complain about the prequel CG. It's better than some of the puppets that they originally had. I was underwhelmed by the trailers. I, you have to also look at the uh, the time in which the trailer came out. Time of, yeah, I mean, that's the trailers true. were different. Ever, ever since Inception came out with that like, exactly. The trailers have changed. Before that, we had you know our cheesy '90s era with the narrator in a world. If you actually go back and rewatch the trailer for like Avengers, which we will do at some point. 2012, yeah. 2012. Yeah. That, that trailer is, it is really super good. cheesy. I thought it was really good. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was really good. For another video. Okay. Looking at it in retrospect, though, you know, compared to where movies and trailers have improved, where they've changed. How, audience, how trailers make audiences feel now. I feel like that trailer, though misleading, still, I mean, did you, yeah, of course you have, but <laughs> the, uh, the audience, whenever they first saw that trailer, it was, it was like their childhood coming back. And so, yeah. from, from so, that. So, I mean, they could put anything out there with Star yeah, Wars on it. and it they feels that way. Other than the uh, Christmas and Ewok specials. Yeah. But the, when I watched the trailers, and I, the first one I watched, I, I was actually like, wow, this trailer's really boring. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this was just a poorly edited fan-made trailer. Oh. So I found another theatrical trailer mm -hmm. that was just as boring. Ah. Uh. Like, yeah, it had a little bit of that, like, this is going to be a darker story, blah. But it still felt like it was a trailer for a made-for-TV movie. I get that to a to a degree, yeah. Um, but this the trailer was definitely living living off of nostalgia. If any. Yeah, I mean like, oh, there's Yoda. Right. Ooh, who's the little boy? He looks kind of like young Luke. It was like really a, young Luke. It was like a you know this, you love this type of situation. It's like of, this is coming back. Give us your right. money. <laughs> exactly. And uh, and to a degree, I think it was worth the money. I mean. Yeah, I mean it's it's an enjoyable movie. I rewatched the trailer. Before rewatching a film. So I went into the film actually feeling underwhelmed, feeling like, oh, this is gonna be a drag, it's gonna be boring. Because that's just the feeling that the trailers gave me. Right. And so when the movie actually got exciting in parts, I was pleasantly surprised. Right. I didn't feel like the trailers completely reflected the movie. Mm hmm. But in some respects, it did. It did, especially in the battle sequences in the trailer. So yeah, we got we didn't get any um, anything in the trailer when it came to battle sequences that wasn't in the movie. Yeah, though though I will say, the droid deploying ships or whatever that like come up over that very well mowed lawn. Yes, <laughs> mind you, mm -hmm. um, when they come up over that in the trailers, it looks to me mm -hmm. really corny, like really made for TV. Really. And when I watched corny? it in the... Yeah, really corny. <laughs> when I saw that scene in mm -hmm. the film, didn't feel as much as the, the trailer had given off. Mm -hmm. um, 
but but I st- still was questioning why does the blonde look perfect for you? <laughs> oh, I feel that. I do. Uh. All you can say is uh, there are creatures that eat the grass, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. That was... But hey, it was beautiful. That was important. If it makes money and it looks pretty, then it's cinema, right? In the aspect of previews, I don't know if it's just me or, or if you do too, but I consider m- uh, movie posters a part of the previews. What's on the posters, like like uh, the Ratatouille posters up there somewhere, he's got like knives, like barely missing them. That wasn't in the movie. But it gave us a sense and a feel of what the movie would be like for episode one. What did you think of the poster? Um, I thought it was really good, actually. I mean, yeah. it it went off of the, your typical uh, Star Wars formula. Mm-hmm. And the movie didn't always follow that Star Wars formula. It still felt like Star Wars and stuff. To me, it was, it was yeah. perfectly serviceable. I, I thought it was a beautiful poster, yeah. uh, something you'd certainly hang up on a wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, even if you didn't like the movie... I think the poster itself is universally beloved. I thought it reflected the the film pretty well. It Agreed. Darker around the edges, but that was more the branding for the prequel series. Mm-hmm. You know, hint, alluding to the kid standing in another poster is Darth Vader. Right, exactly. <laughs> Any final thoughts on the previews and teases for episode one? Nothing I can think of. Neither can I. So. Uh, this has been Previews and Reviews by Revolve Studios. We're your hosts, Hayden Smollett and Eric McKinney. And that's a wrap.